Hey and what's going on guys, welcome to another gameplay and commentary video, it's been quite a long time since I uploaded a video like this one, I mean the past few days I was only uploading live commentaries with friends or montages and stuff, so now I find the opportunity to do a commentary like this, and yeah, but before I start our today's topic, I would like to introduce the gameplay that you're watching right now in the background, it's a quite impressive and rare gameplay I could say. So basically it's a solo team deathmatch nuclear without VSAT, I mean all the nuclear gameplays that you're watching right now out there are AN94 nuclears or SCAR nuclears with C4 and full moon party on demolition, spawn trapping and constant VSAT of course. And this is, you know, a bit different. You can't see where the enemies are and you have the time pressure on team deathmatch because it doesn't last that much and there are quite many factors that affect this gameplay and they make the gameplay you know quite difficult and rare and okay now let's get into our today's topic which is good players and tryhard players are the same thing and I strongly believe of course not these two type of players are completely different but let's see what are good players and what are tryhard players. Good players are the players that have a really big experience in the game, uh, mostly they aren't kids, because I mean a good player can be 16 plus, if not he hasn't a really big experience in the game. He's playing for fun and he still destroys the enemies and that's the main difference with a tryhard. The tryhard does not play for fun, he's always that guy that is sweating his ass off while he isn't that good at the game but he's putting so much effort in order to do well. Many people say that the gun makes you try hard, I disagree. Try harding is not a gun, it's a playstyle. So it doesn't matter with which gun you're going to play. If you're a real try hard, you will try hard even if you're playing with a crossbow. And do I consider myself a real try hard? No. Believe it or not, I don't consider myself a tryhard and I have seen quite many things in my playstyle and generally on how I play and I have concluded that I'm tryharding in 1 out of 20 games. I can see that I'm playing fairly much with a sniper, I love trolling and stuff, I'm not crying about my KD, I just want to have fun when I'm playing and yeah, one more thing that I have noticed is that you can't push me to get a gameplay. I mean, you can't just give me a gun and tell me to get a MOAB with it or get a nuclear with it, it's just not gonna happen. I have seen that all of my insane gameplays happened when I was playing for fun. I mean, do you really believe that when I got my knife only MOAB and I was running support, I wanted to get a knife only MOAB? No, I had 9 freaking MOABs and a friend of mine asked me if I could support him. So I picked up the knife, I played for fun and somehow I got a knife only MOAB or when I got the support silence pass MOAB that I didn't have even scavenger or something, I want to play with that shit. No, I was just trolling on SND in the previous game with this class and I forgot to change my shotgun class and I was playing for fun with friends and somehow I got the MOAB. As I said, you can't push me to get a gameplay. You might tell me now to get a sniper mob, it's not going to happen. After some weeks, I might go for some clips and, you know, and end up getting a mob. Who knows? I have made a test as well that you can use it as well and see if someone is a real tryhard. If you're playing with a sniper or generally you are trolling and you literally don't pose a threat on the enemy and still when he sees you, he's bunny hopping and leaning and trying to do his absolute best to kill you and while you don't even pose a threat to him, then his tryhard mode is over 9000. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, I'll see you when I'll see you and goodbye.